My name is Stephen Quadros, and I'm a commentator, most recently for Showtime Networks for Elite XC and Show XC. How did you get into mixed martial arts? Uh, I got into mixed martial arts uh, pretty much from the first UFC when Hoist Gracie came out and started choking people out and I thought, wow, this is something different and I got very excited. Where do you see the business going five years from now or ten years from now? I think the level of technique that the fighters are going to have five, ten years from now is going to just multiply at hyper speed. What we see today, the GSPs, the BJs, the Milanenkos, we're gonna, that's going to get better and better and better and I think that the fighters of today will, will recognize that. What's your prediction for the BJ? GSP fight? I don't know. I don't really know. don't know because GSP is a superior athlete, but BJ has the mind that is unbreakable and a really good left hand. I mean, I think it's going to be a great fight. Let me ask you this, like, uh, you know, a lot of MMA fans don't like Brock Lesnar, they don't like pro wrestling. Has pro wrestling affected or uh, kind of uh, changed the course of MMA in, in terms of like uh, the way they promote or the way they uh, put on shows or the way they advertise, anything? like that? Has, has pro wrestling kind of contributed to the way MMA industry works or anything like that or the direction it's gone in? I think there's some positives in pro wrestling as far as the promotional thing and the personality aspect because the general public, they don't really care about the techniques of fighting, about the, the real, real hardcore techniques. If they have the techniques along with a really good personality, like a pro wrestling style personality, fine, but the pro wrestling personality has to be a real personality rather than a, one that was rehearsed and made up so they, they can be spectacular. And what's the greatest match you've ever What's the greatest MMA match you've ever seen? Oh gosh, it's, there's been so many. I I almost want to take the fifth on that because if I say one, then what about this other one that I've ever seen or that I've ever commentated? How about commentated? Okay, because I've seen some fights that I like this fight tonight with Orlovsky and Emilenko. It was very exciting. It wasn't very long, but that was a great fight. I think when Emilenko won the Pride Heavyweight title against Rodrigo Nogueira, who at the time was the greatest fighter in the game, that was the most exciting match because it was a true heavyweight champion. It was like Ali Frazier back in 1970 or whatever the date was. It was, the, it was a big one because there was big stakes and he beat him at his own game. And to me, it was very unexpected. A lot of people thought, who's this guy? I mean, nobody knew who Milan Anko is, but now everybody's on his bandwagon. And that's the way it is. Now here's a question for you that like, uh, people like me are curious about. It's like, uh, like you've been in the MMA industry a long time. Has there ever been interest from like UFC to like pull you in and have you work with them? Or have you been have you pursued to work with them in the past? Well, the UFC have a great broadcast team with uh, Mike Goldberg and Joe Rogan. So they really don't have room for me. And they like a two-man booth. Occasionally, they'll bring one of their fighters in. So, I mean, I'd, I'd love to work on a, a great situation like that where it's really professional, yeah, high level, and the UFC, right, let's face it, they are number one. And I have nothing but respect for those guys, and I wish them continued success.